at you again for another episode of Daryl's Vape Tape. So what's up YouTube? How the hell is everybody doing today? Hopefully, wherever the hell you're at and whatever you're doing, hopefully it's going fucking fantastic, all right? I do want to put my biggest apologies out there. I have not been on my game lately. My camera last week in the middle of me doing a few videos just totally fucking broke on me. It is just a big deal. I had to go out, get a new camera, get new memory cards, get everything that goes with the camera, all right? So, we got all that stuff, and now we're back to reviewing some shit, all right? We got a bunch of shit. We got to catch up. So... Today, we got a pretty good one for you, all right? We're looking at this Plumeville V3 RDA. And it's a pretty nice little RDA. It's a small RDA, but it chucks some pretty good clouds for a big RDA, all right? Right now, I'm uh, reading 0.2 and running about 91 watts. Let me go ahead and take a vape. And for a little RDA, the flavor, I think this is a flavor Addy. The flavor is phenomenal, but it does chuck some pretty good clouds, all right? The flavor is so good because the coils are just so close to your mouth. It's a little Addy. It's got some bottom airflow, kind of like a Kennedy type airflow that you guys see more in a close up. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. Pretty stoked about it, and it's been hitting pretty fucking good, all right? But. Without me talking too much about it, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive down to the table and take a little closer look. Alrighty, and inside the package, you get this little pack of goodies here, and it's got your Phillip head screwdriver for your grub screws, some extra grub screws, and also some O-rings. And last but not least, we're looking at this Plumeville V3 RDA. And you can see by the look of it, it's a really small RDA. It's not that big. The juice well is really small. But, man, this is a flavor chaser's dream right here, okay? So we'll start on the bottom. You have 22 millimeter base. you got a copper-plated 510 pin right there. It is adjustable, but I haven't had to adjust it at all. Okay, so the top, you got this wide board drip tip on here. And this just kind of pulls out of here just like that. It's got one solid O-ring on it right there you can see into the deck right there okay but this top here is going to come out of here like so and you can see the different airflow configurations on there okay so looking at the airflow you got one slot on this side and one slot on this side now the single coilers are going to love this thing because if you spin it now this side is closed this side is half open you can open this one all the way and this side will stay closed now if you keep spinning it now both sides are open. So it is for dual coil or single coil mode. So that's real nice, all right? So you take this top cap off. You got your top cap. It's got one O-ring right there. And there's your deck section right there, okay? So on the side here, on both sides, you do have a bottom airflow, okay? So you see the holes right there where the coils would be? That's where the, the airflow is going to come with under the coil right there, okay? So we'll pop this guy out of here like so. And right here's your deck section, all right? Pretty easy to build on. Not a velocity style deck like you're used to seeing, but the build deck is pretty easy to build on. And it is pretty big size. Now the juice, the juice holes right there, I mean the juice well, I wish that was a little bigger. Um, but like I said, it's a flavor chaser's dream. You got the four hair air holes right there on either side so when you put a coil on top of that like you guys will see in a second the air will come under the coil and then it also comes from the side so that's why the flavor is so good pulse holes are two millimeter I haven't found a build yet that I can't fit in there and yeah that's pretty much it you got your you got your butt your barrel right there you got your top section and you got your drip tip and that's the uh Plumeville V3. So why don't let me let me go ahead and throw a build in here, and then we'll bring it back at you so we can take a look at it. Now the build that I chose to put in here is a dual alien Clapton. It's reading about a point one six, and I mean it's a nice build. It's a really nice build. It's in there. It fits good, and it hits tremendous. All right. Now this is the best build that I put in here so far. I have been just you know running standard Claptons, but I will say, and I'll, I'll say it again up top, with the airflow on the bottom there, where it comes through from this bottom airflow, you can see that there's not much room there for you to stick your wick 
in there for the juice to get to your wick. There's just definitely some issues. So that's definitely a big con, and I just wanted to make sure I show it to you guys why it's up close and personal. I wish the juice well was a little bit bigger. But why don't we go ahead and take it back up top now. We'll vape on it, talk on it. Alrighty, so we just got done taking an up close look at this Plumeville V3 RDA and like I was telling you guys it is a flavor Addy 100% the flavor is phenomenal but the clouds that I get out of it like you guys will see in a second are pretty good as well alright so I have the same dual alien clap that you guys just seen me install I've been running that build that build has just been doing it for me on most of the Addies that I've been reviewing and just running on a daily basis the, the alien clap is just doing it for me all right it heats up really fast and it's been pumping pumping some major clouds all right so we're reading about 91 watts at the 0.2 resistance let's go ahead and take a vape and as you guys can see for a small flavor addy the clouds are impressive all right the clouds are good for a little addy all right so let's talk pros and cons all right so the first pro for me of course the biggest pro the flavor the flavor the flavor is awesome all right so flavors number one the number two pro for this is airflow now for a little addy the airflow on the bottom stays open all the time the airflow on the top I rock it wide open and it is plenty of airflow for any build that you want to put in here okay so next pro all you single coilers out there are really gonna love it because it has a single coil option all right so that's that's killer that's a big pro for me I don't usually do single coils but I, I like that they give you the option all right so the next pro for me is I like the size like I said at first I was a little I don't know I just like looking at it it's just a little addy but you know once I hook it up put our you know coils in it wicks in it it produces some awesome clouds for that little addy and it looks good on you know most of the mods that I put it on, it looks really good because it's a small size Addy, all right? So, next pro for me is price point. Now, it is a clone, but the price point on this guy is about $10. 10 bucks for this fucking RDA, all right? I don't know who sent it to me, so I wish I could give a shout out to whoever those are, but thank you whoever sent it. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little Addy. The flavor, the airflow, everything all around the board is just really good, all right? But there are a few cons, all right? So the first con for me is this top cap just kind of pops off a little too easy for me. I wish they had maybe a third O-ring right there. They just hold it on a little snugger. If you want to pull off the top cap here, you literally have to hold the bottom pull it off it's it, it just i wish there was a third o-ring is all okay or the o-rings were a little fatter a little bit more snugger okay the next one for me is the rda the way the deck is set up in the middle you cannot just drip in the middle of the drip tip and it will not get saturated on the coil um i i don't like that i just i like when i can just drip it just squeeze it in there take some babes and be ready to go all right so that's a con for me um for some of you guys it'll be a con as well all right so the next con for me, or I thought it was going to be a major con when I first got it, the deck section. I wish it was, I don't wish it was a little bigger. I wish it was just a little deeper and you had a little bit more space for your wick in there. But when you totally saturate the coil, I get a good 7 8 tokes out of it. Running about 80 watts, I get a good 7 8 tokes out of it. So it's not as bad as I thought it was, but I just wish the deck session, I just wish it had a little bit more room for my wicks. The juice well isn't bad, it's got plenty of size for juice in it, but when you tuck your wicks in there, there's not a lot of space for the juice to move around in there and wick your coil. So I, I, that's just a con for me. That's just me, that's the way I see it, all right? So, the next con for me is you cannot put your favorite drip tips on this, okay? They have this kind of drip tip on here. Let me get her off here real quick. That little drip tip right there, it's got one O-ring on it. And uh, yeah, I just wish they had a 510 connect so I could put my favorite 510 drip tips on it, all right? So, that's a con, that's gonna be a con for most people, all right? But, that's pretty much about it. Those three cons, a lot of pros, couple cons nice little RDA for ten dollars if you're looking for a flavor chaser kind of RDA you're just getting into building this isn't a hard RDA to build on the decks pretty easy um, but yeah I think that's pretty much about it for me today so I will put all the links down there in the bottom of the description and uh, yeah if you guys liked anything in today's video make sure you guys give me a big fat thumbs up 
And until next time, you just remember, vape on, YouTube.